this is Randy Santel, Atlas, and I am very, very excited today. I'm going for overall victory number 1,166. But the reason I'm excited is because it is my very first time in Northern Territory. Katina and I are here in the Greater Darwin uh, NT area. For the next few days, we're doing two challenges. If I complete this top G burger challenge sitting in front of me, I will then have victories in every state and territory all around Australia. But we are all here actually in Palmerston of Northern Territory. Thank you guys all for being here. Yeah. We are all here at District North Kitchen, or DNK for short. Uh, they've actually got three locations. There is one actually down in the Melbourne, Victoria area where we've already been. There are two here uh, in the Northern Territory. There's this one in Palmerston, which is outside of Darwin. And then we're actually staying in Darwin City. There is a location near there, but I'm hoping to become just the second person to dominate their Top G Burger Challenge. Now, they've actually got three starter challenges that build up to this that started on their newer menu. There's a half a kilogram, there's a one kilogram, a 1.5 kilogram, and now as of today, one person has done their two kilogram Top G Burger Challenge. Now, it is two kilograms because this challenge does not include the chips, which are on the bottom. I'm still gonna try to finish those as well as uh, they're well known for their milkshakes here. They've actually got milkshakes and cake shakes. This is a red velvet cake shake. Uh, it does actually have a piece of red velvet cake in there. So that is optional. Still going to try to finish that, but I'm going to read off the menu for this freaking Top G Burger Challenge. It is huge, but we've got three smashed beef patties. There are three Brookvale Union Ginger Beer Battered Chicken Patties. Three fried chicken patties uh, with a whole bunch of seasonings. There's three chicken schnitzel patties. There's beef brisket, and then there is pork belly on top. There's a whole bunch of rashers of bacon. And then we've got a healthy slice of pineapple. I think that one was on top. There is beetroot, good for the digestive system. There's a whole bunch of their homemade cheddar cheese sauce. There's barbecue sauce. There's DNK burger sauce. And then we've got some other healthy vegetables. And then of course, the top and bottom bun. Uh, the onion rings on top are required, so I'm gonna finish those. There's a 30 minute time limit for this thing. Normally, it is a pay to play challenge. So if you finish this in under 30 minutes, you still pay 100 Australian dollars for the meal, but you do get a sweet t-shirt to add to your collection and you get your name and photo up on the wall of fame. Thanks to all of you guys watching and everybody here. Uh, I'm of course gonna get the meal free if I do win. But without further ado, let's get this challenge started. Big thank you to everybody here with District North Kitchen for having Katina and myself in to dominate their challenge. But let's do it. One, two, three, boom. All right, onion rings first. Hey, thank you. Those are good. I think this sets the record for most skewers in a burger. I think this is pork belly. All right, I think this is brisket. That is good. I am gonna set the pineapple off to the side for later. I know Katina liked the DNK sauce. The uh, barbecue sauce on here is great too. Let's have one of these smash patties. Katina just said every layer is amazing, and I must say, she said one of the sexiest things ever today. She made a joke during her video. She actually made a Shrek joke. Uh, watch her video to find that one out. But two minutes in, I love the movie Shrek. This is one of the fried chicken patties. I'm not exactly sure what's beef brisket and what's pork belly, so both are very good. I do know this as a schnitzel. minutes in, we're getting it. Yeah. 
I'm gonna take a quick break to sample this uh, red velvet cake shake. Oh, if I didn't know better, I would obviously look at it and think strawberry, but yeah, it's a red velvet. Very good. Just for Katina, I might dip some chips into it later. Eight minutes and 10 seconds in, we are gonna do the schnitzel next, which has been holding the heat in for the rest of this thing. We'll do that burger after the schnitzel. The chicken burgers, the burgers, everything is great, but apparently most people come in here for their snack packs. I guess they've got a, an SSP, different from an HSP, but it's a schnitzel uh, snack pack. I've seen a couple of people have ordered it. It looks delicious. Ooh, let's finish this. We're 11 minutes, 45 seconds in. Let's uh, do bacon and then I think we're gonna do schnitzel before we finish the last fried chicken patty. Okay, the challenges are only available in Palmerston. They're not available in Darwin or Melbourne. All right, we're gonna finish off the healthy vegetables and then do, uh, this actually has a, a sangha. Is it sangha, sangha? Sangha, yes, sangha, are you dead man? Cool Runnings, another good movie in addition to Shrek, but sangha is sandwich here. So I'm gonna have a fried chicken sangha. Done with the burger. Yeah. All right. 18 minutes and 56 seconds for the challenge. Ooh. Gonna keep the time running. Oh, over 19 minutes in now, I'm gonna finish off the rest of the chips and the milkshake, even though they're not required. Some Sheila I know did it, so I've got a matcha. I did promise Katina that I would dunk a couple uh, chips into my milkshake, so, which is an American thing apparently, because nobody here knows about that, but ooh, let's do it. Just for you, Tuts. As I finish the rest of this cake shake, I'm gonna cheers to myself. I've been to all 50 states, and now that I'm here in Northern Territory, I can say that I've been to all of the states and territories all around Australia. If you have been to all of these states and territories, comment and let me know down below. So, oh yes, let's get this challenge down. <laughs> time.
time for finishing the base challenge. My time for finishing everything, including the uh, cake shake and all of the chips, along with all the cheese uh, that was still left there. 24 minutes exactly. It's not the record, so I will have the number two time uh, for finishing everything up on their wall of fame, which they call it the naughty corner. Uh, if you do one of the other three challenges that are easier uh, and you finish those uh, within the time limits and stuff, you get your picture up on the wall of fame as well. But everything looked and is amazing. So if you ever get the chance, if you're in the Darwin or Palmerston area, or if you're down in Melbourne, get to the local District North Kitchen for an awesome meal. Uh, and if you're near the Palmerston, Palmerston one, go ahead and try one of the four challenges here. Uh, I am glad that Katina and I were able to get here. It was overall victory number 1,166. We've got one more coming up, and I've actually never done uh, this type of challenge before. Uh, over closer to Darwin City, there is a place at Lisa's Lunch Bar. I think it's called There is a Loxa challenge, which is a whole bunch of noodles. It's gonna be like a soup. I'm excited for that one, but that video will be next. Thank you guys all for being here. If you like this video, be sure to watch either this one or this one. I know you will like those as well, but either way, I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Win before you begin.